Martin, a 20-year-old Caucasian male, presents to an OPD with the history of there is actually a chief complaint of that patient is the right-sided hip lower back pain of 18 months duration. When that kind of a person with this age group comes to you, what is the first thing which actually uh, clicks in your mind? Is it a hip pathology or is it a back pathology? Now this patient has a hip pain as well as back pain. Now when we will be taking history, we need to differentiate whether the problem is in the hip or towards the back. There is no neurological symptoms, no palliative factors and any ominous findings no weight loss or night pains. Now when there is no weight loss, there is no neurological symptoms, the back problem, it is less likely to be a back problem. So most likely the problem is towards the hip. But we have to keep that in our differentials as well. There is no history of fever or night sweats. No blood loss, bowel bladder dysfunction. Now with fever, night sweats, it actually rules out a chronic infection as well. Although this is a Caucasian male and with these age group in this part of the world there is less likely to be a tuberculosis. But if the same person with the same age group would have presented from another endemic area with the tuberculosis very uh, endemic, then you must be thinking on the lines of tuberculosis of the hip or the spine as well. Now coming to the details of the medical history. He had a fall on the tailbone from six foot wall four years prior. Now, there are two things to correlate. There's a hip pain, which is 18 months of duration. And the fall was four years back. So likely this is not due to the, it's not a post-traumatic pain. Because if this would have been the post-traumatic pain, it should have been present from the four, four years onward. Patient received physiotherapy for this injury. Patient's mother had a history of bilateral scaphy. Now that actually should start ringing the bell because scaphy as script capital femoral epiphysis is a hip pathology. And our patient is having a problem which is related towards the hip because the sacrum, if it did got fracture, there was a coccyx fracture four years back. Now the person is having hip pain and radiating to the back. Patient is not having any symptoms of coccydynia, which was most likely can be attributed to trauma. On physical exam, there is a slight intalgic lean on the left. Why? Because the right-sided hip pain is there, so patient cannot actually bear weight on the right side. Therefore, patient is leaning onto the left hip mainly. There is joint restriction and malposition of sacral joints bilaterally. There, with the patient, uh, when you will be checking the range of motion, there will be actually decreased internal rotation. There is decreased uh, internal rotation with adduction and there will be a bit of a flexion attitude at the hip joint. Functionally short leg it is on the left side but when we will be mirroring it overall most likely it will the problem is on the right side so when we will be mirroring with the flexion attitude loss of adduction and internal rotation the main limbless discrepancy would appear towards the right side. Lumbar range of motion was restricted in active flexion, which could be due to the hip pathology as well. Especially when we do the Thomas test, we realize that probably the problem is with the flexion hip contracture at the hip joint. Now he was referred to an orthopedic testing area and an orthopedic surgeon examined him. After getting his history and examination, he ordered x-rays, what would be possibly the x-rays would, that would include the AP and frog leg lateral of the pelvis. That is, you get an AP view with both hip joints and a right leg or right lateral uh, views of the uh, affected side only. Then, as there was initially the radiation towards the back, we should also get x-ray lumbosacral spine as well to rule out any other pathology of the spine. That X-ray, AP and frog leg radiographs of the pelvis actually revealed some abnormal results. Now, what are you expecting on this imaging? So by the history and examination, where you think most likely the problem is? Is it at the hip joint? Is it at the coccyx or is it at the spine? So considering the history, the most likely the pathology is probably at the hip joint. And what would you expect? Would you expect 
LCPD as the age is around 16 years would you expect something like SCAFI as there is always a history, positive history uh, of family history is already positive for bilateral SCAFI in mother and how you can reach the right diagnosis once you've taken the history and examination and you've done the relevant clinical radiography of the patient can you reach the right diagnosis which in this case is most likely SCAFI and if the diagnosis is SCAFI what is the surgical treatment of this patient or should we be treating this patient conservatively and then what are the expected post-operative complications whenever we treat somebody with the surgery there is always associated risk factors does Martin has those risk factors or not and if that Martin does undergo some form of a surgery would there be any associated complications all these questions can be answered in our lecture and do uh, check it out at scadia.com thank you very much